We do like countdowns and there are only 40 days left before World IPv6 Day, so there are two things that you might do in order to prepare for a full 24 hours of quad-A record filled DNS. The first is to Google any IPv6 conferences that might be taking place in your area soon. There are bound to be a couple. The IPv6 Summit in Ottawa is today. The Rocky Mountain IPv6 Summit was in the beginning of this week. Peak 10 is doing its V6 engineering series events in 10 cities in the southeast US. The Australian V6 Summit is later this year. The UK World Congress is in June. And there's a V6 conference in New York in July. That's one of the upsides of both World V6 Day and the depletion of the global IPv4 address pool. There's more attention, free swag, seminars, and lectures on IPv6 popping up all the time. More and more vendors, developers, ISPs, and other companies want to be considered the go-to source for IPv6 information and are spending quite a bit of time and money trying to help out enterprises and organizations with the IPv6 transition. Even if you're not in a position of providing access or content over V6, you can still increase your knowledge. That's the second step. Hopefully by now you have V6 connectivity through a tunnel broker at least, and maybe you've even completed the V6 certification test we do at ipv6.he.net. The next most valuable thing you can learn to do is troubleshoot. The Aaron IPv6 troubleshooting wiki page is a good place to start and offers links to test v6 browsing connectivity, email server connectivity, FTP access, NTP access, IPv6 speed, and user v6 access and domain v6 readiness. And to turn our focus back to World V6 Day, there's an additional page on Aaron's IPv6 wiki which describes issues for users attempting to access dual stack websites and potential solutions, all listed by operating system, browser software, and gateway or router brand. A few major players are said to be putting together documentation for potential broken users on IPv6 Day, and we'll be looking out for those. In the meantime, the wiki page is still a good source of information to help prepare your customers and yourself for any V6 adventures on June 8th.